Hello everyone, Linda Israel here to share the January 29th creative prompt. We're almost done with this month. It's 2020 and it's going by so quickly. Do check below in the description box for links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as my blog, shop, social media connectors like Instagram, Pinterest, Patreon, uh, my Facebook page as well. Robin Finnessy of the Friendly Junk Journal people is the one that wrote the prompts and I'm just executing them in hopes that I encourage you to create journals, create journal pages, and then write on those pages. For today, we are to create a journal page using at least two ribbons or ribbon scraps. Write about something or things that bring you joy. I've got a few things that I've set out here. These are tags that are part of the Radiant Red Creative Rainbow Kit. You can get this as a digital download or you can buy the physical kit and get the elements. I've got one that is the actual box and then I have an add-on journal that has enough ephemera in it to make two journals. It's all printed kit. So I've got these two pieces here and then I chose the I Choose Joy word phrase from my white words on black and then I have a little scrap of a book page here that I thought I would use. So here's what I'm going to do with the tags right off the bat. I've got some ribbon so I went ahead and grabbed a red ribbon and I've got a black ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and cut that at an angle and let's take two of these pieces here I'll kind of stack them on each other I don't need a whole lot of ribbon. I just want a little bit at the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at an angle as well. And then I'm going to place this right here at the top. And for those of you that don't have a hole punch and you're trying to figure out another way to attach ribbons, well, here's another way. You can use a stapler. To attach your ribbons. You want to try to make sure that the staple goes through some of the ribbon so it doesn't pull off. But there it is. I stapled that on. I'm going to do that again for the smaller tag. All right, so I've added that on there. And I think what I want to do is I want to glue these on my page. So I'll have one at the top and probably one just below here. I like the layered texture look there. This area is really white to me, so I think what I want to do is I've got my blending tool. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here, and then let's grab a stencil, and let's just make a little stencil design down here. This is the Ribbon Rose stencil, so I'm going to lay that across my page here. We're going to cover up the top portion, so I really want a design in this bottom section because my page is rather small. So I'm going to use some Distress Ink and Fired Brick and I've got this oval blending brush here and I'm just going to rub that over the pattern and add a little texture to my page. I like that. It just adds a little bit of color to the page so it's not stark white anymore. And I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these down across the top. So I'm just going to place the first one and then the second. I'll go ahead and glue my little word phrase together with this little scrap of a edge of a book page. I did go around the edge with some Walnut Stain Distress ink before I started. And then I think this piece, a little scrap here. Let's see, do I want to put it here? I think right there would be good. I look up at my camera to kind of see what's an overhead shot of this look like. If you're ever curious about a composition that you're working on and you're looking at it but it just doesn't seem right to you, take a photograph of it and then look at the photograph and generally you can kind of see if something is sticking out of place and what needs to be fixed. That's a quick idea before you glue everything down. Well, there's my journal page so far. I've got a little smudge of something down here, so I'm going to grab a little bit of washi tape. I've got a little piece here. Let me not go across the whole page, but just to the edge here. Kind of just ties it in with the previous page and a couple other times where I've used this washi tape. Well, now it's time to write about something or things that bring me joy. So let me do that, and then I'll be right back. 
I'm using the Sharpie No Bleed writing pen. I like it because it doesn't bleed through to the other side like a lot of felt tip pens. For today, January the 29th, use two ribbons and then write about something that brings you joy or brings me joy. Being able to create art brings me joy. Every day that I get to create art makes my soul happy. When I don't get to create, I long to get back into my studio. I try to make something every day. Even a small tag or embellishment brings me joy. And back to my thoughts. Do what makes you happy. I hope you enjoyed seeing this journal prompt ways to add ribbons to tags, especially if you don't have a hole punch in order to tie them through that hole. And that you like the idea of how we decorate our pages and then what brings you joy. Do give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you liked it so that others can find me. If you have any questions, comment down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support here on YouTube and of course on all my social media connectors. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.